Hi, this is Cassandra Xavier, and I'm here to talk about raw foods for the rest of us. And I'd like to thank my co-worker, uh, Matthew, for, um, you know, doing the thing, the thing with the camera there. Thank you so much. So I'm all about start where you are, work with what you have at all times. So I happen to spend a lot of time in a bookstore. I basically almost live here. And I was about to have, actually, my first meal of the day, because um, I've had this stomach issue. So, um, so I thought, while I have my camera, and... And Matthew's here, I could ask him, and he graciously said yes, so thank you. So I'm actually going to eat banana with collard greens. Um, I'm, I don't have the convenience of making a, a green smoothie right now. And I remember what Victoria Butenko, rawfamily.com, said about um, gorillas and how they eat. Um, how they eat fruit and greens. They do this. They take the banana, and then they take like one of the many leafy greens that they eat. And then they roll it up like this, and they eat it, which I'm going to do it later. I'm not going to do it now because, should I do it now? It doesn't matter, right? I don't know. Yes, um, not. It's going to be good because you should see, uh, I don't want to do it because I have lipsticks on. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to do, but I just wanted to show you, and I introduced this to my brother when I was living with him because he really likes the green smoothies, he likes the fruit, he likes the greens, but... Something about like blending this together, it's really awesome because the sweet of the fruit um, is sort of grounded by the, the non-sweet of the collards, and of course the collards is a pretty strong tasting green. Not as strong as mustards, but definitely not as mild as kale or like spinach or lettuce or something. So this is a very, um, you know, lovely way to do both of those. Another benefit to this, first of all, you're getting your greens, which is really good. Also, if you're, if you're bipolar, like me, you always are looking for things to ground you, and the things that are grounding are things like yams, um, coconut is very grounding, and greens are also very grounding too. If you're eating a lot of fruit, even if you're eating like non-sweet fruit, like tomatoes, avocados, um, you know, what's another non-sweet fruit? T tomatoes, avocados, uh, cucumbers, those are non-sweet fruit. But it's still a very like high energy, and you need some it's like grounding stuff. So another good thing about greens is that it slows the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream, which is really also very handy. So that's my tip, and uh, thank you for watching, and thank you, Matthew, for filming this.